Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. Today we're checking out Leech with four of these really awesome wasps on it. These weapons do major damage, but they have a really long reload time, so some people may or may not like them. I finally got my two stellar wasps leveled up to level 12. And hey, we're going to go take them in here and see how they do. All right, let's go see how they do. Leech is one of those robots you probably won't see me play that often, but I know the Wasp Leap seems to be a very popular build. So we're going to go ahead and try that one out today. See how it goes. Should be a lot of fun. We got the Leech up to level 12 here, and let's go do it. Team Deathmatch is probably the way to go for the long range setups like I have on most of my robots. So we're going to try some Team Deathmatch this morning. Okay, so I waited about 10 minutes and did not get into a match, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to Beacon Rush. I don't know what it is, but this time of day, for some reason, nobody seems to be playing any other mode except for Beacon Rush, and it always takes forever to get into a match. So we're going to run up this way. We are going to get within 600 meters of somebody. Almost there, almost there. They're still a little too far away. All right, we just want to blast someone really good. Okay, that guy fell down in the hole there. Here we go. Got a couple shots on him, and then he went into his his ability there. Come on out, come on out. Somebody's coming across, all right? We're going to leech this guy, and we're going to blow up. Nope, he went into a phase shift. So let's wait for him to unphase shift. And that was a bummer. Now we're out of ammo. That's the one thing about this weapon, though. You run out of ammo really quick. You run out of ammo real fast. But when you can hit somebody, it does big damage. Look at that. All right, plus it's got the DOT as well. So I'm going to start leeching somebody. Killed that guy because I was leeching them, and somebody shot me. So, hey, that works out nice. But yeah, look how much damage I just took. I am not a fan of the leech, guys. It, it's just way too squishy. You got to be way too careful with it. It's not fun to play, in my opinion. But look at the damage these weapons are doing. It's nuts. It's nuts, man. These weapons are brutal. All right? Brutal. I got 11 more seconds, all right, so I need to back off. I don't want hit right now. But the good news is that guy has really close range weapons and I can stand back. Ah, poop sickles. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and bring him in yet again. And we're gonna find a nice spot to kind of hang back and snipe a couple guys from 600 meters. But yeah, I've never been a good leech pilot. I, I personally would much rather run this on Typhon or something, but hey. You know what? I decided to try something different for the day because I don't do this very often. Let's beat him up a little bit with these. That did some really good damage. Here comes somebody over here. Let's hit him a few times. Let's start leeching this guy. So if he shoots us, he's just going to damage himself, which is awesome. Now when that ability runs, off, runs out, you got to get back to cover. You don't want anybody to be able to hit you when leech's ability is done because... You are super squishy at that point. All right, we got a DOT kill right there. This is not good. Let's beat this little dude up. And somebody's shooting at me. So if they shoot, they will kill their teammates. Come on, come on, shoot me, shoot me. I'm going to go ahead and phase shift it right now until I get my ammo back. He's out of here, all right? Let's bust this little dude up. Got a good shot on this guy. Let's hit him. Darn it, targeting system. All right, a couple of shots did some really good damage right there. Up. Oh, we got one more shot in. We're going to leech this guy. Nope, maybe we're not. Let's try and leech. Is there anybody within range? I don't think so. All right, nobody's in range. We can bust this shell up. He's a little too far away, actually. I think most of those missed. Um, 
Here comes somebody up close. We got a few more seconds. Let's take him down. All right, there we go. Let's leech him. So if somebody shoots me, we're going to beat him up real good. So those are... Oh, he's got some healing, guys. He's got some healing. Um... See if we can get him. Nope, he's gonna get back to safety. That's the worst thing about the longer range weapons is you gotta sit there and it's a waiting game sometimes. You position yourself in a nice spot, and then you sit there and you wait till you got some good shots. Let's see if we can leech that guy. So right now I'm being shot, but I should be damaging that other guy. Oh crap. There's a shell over here. So these weapons are great at busting the shell shields, guys. These are shell busters right here. You may not realize that, but anything that does kinetic damage, all right, they bust up a shell shield. Any kinetic damage weapons do 200% more damage to things with the physical shield. So right now we're leeching that Arthur. We're beating them up pretty good. We want to make sure we get back to cover because this ability is about to end. But with Leech, it's all about staying back behind cover. Only coming out when you know you've got that good shot and you're going to be able to do something really awesome with it. All right, we're, we're within range. Let's beat this guy up. We're going to go ahead and Leech this guy, right? So if somebody shoots me, it's going to hurt him. Oh crap, they're hitting really hard here. Let's go ahead and phase shift it. I think we have meant our match on this one. We got, ah, uh, poops. So that's the one problem with weapons like this is you don't want to let anybody get close to you or you might end up being dead, 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 dead. All right, we're just going to go out and play out a full battle on this one. We're going to grab our scarab leech to start off with. What I should have put on here was a death mark or something, made him hit even harder. But, you know, this isn't really the ideal setup for a beacon game, in my opinion. Like I said, I was trying to play the team deathmatch modes, but unfortunately, for some reason, this time of day, nobody seems to be playing those. That Jaeger had a really strong shield. That's the first time I've shot at something and I haven't been impressed at the amount of damage done. Alright, let's be beat this guy up. And the DOT is awesome, though, guys. The DOT is amazing on those things. All right. Let's go after this guy. Let's go ahead and hit the... Oh, they're over here. Let's leech this little dude. Watch this. We're going to get him good, too. If somebody shoots us, we damage him because we're leeching him. All right. We got us a kill. Now we got to make sure nobody can get around us because, hey... We are super squishy, we don't have an ability, and we don't have any weapons for a little while. So yeah, the long reload, reload time on these is a little bit of a pain, but if you can get used to that, they do great amounts of huge damage quick. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Nope, let's go after this dude. We're going to leech him and... Aw, oh, man... He went into a thing there. There we go. A couple shots in. But yeah, if you miss some, that really hurts, though. With with this limited amount of ammo, missing a shot hurts, guys. It's not like you can just reload quickly and fire again. You gotta sit there and wait for, like, 12 minutes. That's what it feels like sometimes. Alright, let's get him, get him, get him, get him. Alright, so we missed one shot. There's somebody in range. Let's beat him up. Yeah, I really do enjoy these weapons a lot. If somebody starts to shoot me, then I'm going to go into leech mode and hopefully kill them off, right? Hopefully kill them off. I'm going to save that ability, guys. I'm going to save that ability on the leech for when I really need it. Somebody just shot me and I took some damage there. They got another Jaeger. Man, someone got me really good too, didn't they? Too far away. We're just we're just on a waiting game right now. Let's see if we can take this guy down. All right, we're gonna try and leech him. Right? We didn't get we didn't get him. 
Let's leech this dude instead. Now, somebody... Ah, oh, crap sandwiches. Yeah. I'm not a good leech pilot, but hey. We're doing well. We're doing well. Let's go ahead and bring in our... Let's bring in our Typhon. Now, this guy would be a much better pilot. A much better robot for those weapons, in my opinion. But between these... Alright, between these and the wasps... It's hard to really say which one's better. Like, I love them both a lot. I don't know where he came from. I'm going to phase shift it for a second. He's out of here. All right, we got our ammo back. Let's beat this guy up. But I like the lockdown. Okay, these do huge damage and they lock people down. But between pulsars and wasps, I think I would probably go with the pulsars if I had my choice. I kind of prefer the lockdown. Um, it does seem like the wasp does huge damage, and it's got the DOT, so after you stop shooting somebody, you're still damaging them for a little while, which is kind of huge. Whoa! That was quick. Let's go ahead and bring in our Fenrir. That guy stopped me before I even knew what happened. Hope they don't have Sonics over here. It looks like they got non-Sonics, which means... I should be good and tough. Unfortunately, the whole team's over here. I don't know how they turned this white. And we got Titans. This isn't good. All right, come on. Reload, reload. I need to kill some dudes. All right. Ah, uh, battle ended. That was a quick battle. That was a quick battle. So anyways. All right, my opinion on the Wasp is they are very cool weapons. A lot of people are going to like these a lot. If you're into the sniping type of thing, they're kind of almost a sniper weapon. I think they're best on something like a team deathmatch. But overall, I really like them a lot. Alright, catch you guys later. See ya. Thanks for watching.